shrouded in secrecy, these floating fortresses are capable of projecting power across the seas. They incorporate cutting-edge technologies and governments around the world to keep them top secret. So for today's video, it's the top 15 most secret aircraft carriers. Number 15. Fujian, China Fujian, named after the Fujian province, is the first of the Type 003-class aircraft carriers. It was built for the People's Liberation Army Navy. It was launched on June 17, 2022, and is China's first fixed-wing aircraft carrier with a fully indigenous design, featuring a catobar system and an electromagnetic catapult. The Type 003 class was originally unofficially called a Type 002 when Shandong, China's then incomplete second carrier, was believed to be designated Type 001A. Shandong's official designation, Type 002, was revealed during the commissioning, and observers hence believe the third carrier would be the Type 003. This is expected to use steam turbines and electromagnetic catapults, whereas the preceding Chinese carriers launched aircrafts with these ski jumps. According to Chinese military commentator Song Jinping, Fujian has integrated power systems, or IPSs. The carrier's size is expected to be similar to the unfinished 85,000-ton Soviet aircraft carrier Ulyanvsk and the United States Navy's 100,000-ton supercarriers. Early assessment measured the Type 003 at approximately 300 meters long, although renewed assessment indicated that its length was about 316 meters, and it's got a flight deck with a width of 76. Comparisons have also been drawn to the American Kitty Hawk-class aircraft carriers. Earlier press reports and Chinese media generally suggested that the ship might have a displacement around 80,000 tons. However, backed by satellite images, suggestions that the displacement was underestimated, and the Type 003 carrier might be closer in displacement to about 100,000 tons. Anyway, in 2019, analyst Robert Farley believed that the Type 003 would be, quote, the largest and most advanced aircraft carrier ever built outside the United States, end quote. Number 14. The Charles de Gaulle, France The first French nuclear-powered surface ship, the Charles de Gaulle, is one of France's most important fight carriers and has been in service since 2001. The ship, which has a total displacement of about 36,000 tons with a 780 by 103 by 27 foot structure, is the only nuclear-powered carrier with navies other than the United States. This ship can carry up to 40 fixed-wing aircrafts and helicopters, including a Rafale M E-2C Hawkeye, Super Antandar, EC-725 Caracom, AS-532 Cougar, and the SA-365 Dolphin. The aircraft carrier can attain maximum speed of about 27 knots, and it's been provided with two K-17 reactors for propulsion. It is known for its multi-roles. The ship is highly combat-friendly, with both assaulting and carrying roles. The ship carries a complement of Dassault Rafale M and E-2C Hawkeye aircraft, and of course helicopters for combat, search, and rescue, as well as modern electronics and Aster missiles. She is a catobar-type carrier that uses two 75-meter steam catapults, of a shorter version of the catapult system installed on the U.S. Nimitz. As of July 2021, Charles de Gaulle was the only non-American carrier vessel that had a catapult launch system, which has allowed for operation of the F-18 Super Hornets and the C-2 Greyhounds of the United States Navy. The carrier replaced Foch, a conventionally powered aircraft carrier, in 2001. Clemenceau and Foch were completed in 1961 and 63, respectively. The requirement for a replacement was identified in the mid-1970s. And in 1993, it was alleged by the UK newspaper The Guardian that a group of engineers inspecting the vessel during her construction were British secret intelligence service operatives, believed to have been learning the method of the shielding of nuclear reactors, amongst other technical details. Number 13. Liaoning, China The aircraft carrier in operation with the China's People Liberation Army Navy or PLAN, the Type 001 aircraft carrier Liaoning, is the fourth largest aircraft carrier in the world. Initially, it was planned as the second Kunetsov-class aircraft carrier for the Soviet Navy, and the vessel was later purchased by China after the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 91. It's got an overall length of about 304 meters and a beam of about 75 meters. The ship was rebuilt and commissioned for PLAN in September of 2012. It is currently classified as a training ship. Liaoning offers a platform for the Navy to experiment, train, and become familiar with aircraft carrier operations. Displacing more than 58,000 tons of full load, Liaoning can carry around 50 aircraft, including fixed-wing planes and helicopters. The Konetsov-class ships were originally designed by the Soviet Navy, a heavy aircraft-carrying cruiser. In addition to aircraft, the ships were designed to carry P-700 Granite anti-ship cruise missiles that also form the main armament of the Kirov-class battlecruisers. 
This multi-role capability allows these ships to avoid classification as aircraft carriers, thus allowing them to pass through the Turkish Straits between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. Under the Montreux Convention, aircraft carriers larger than 15,000 tons are not permitted to pass through the Straits, but there's no displacement limit on other types of capital ships from the Black Sea powers. In contrast, the People's Liberation Army Navy considers Liaoning to be an aircraft carrier. Since China is not located on the Black Sea and thus not considered a Black Sea power under the Montreux Convention, it does not need and cannot use the tonnage exemption for non-aircraft carrier capital ships. Well, the ship was completed as an aircraft carrier and cruise missiles were never installed. Liaoning is equipped with only air defense weapons and must use its aircraft for a surface attack. Number 12. Admiral Kunetsov, Russia Russia's Kunetsov-class aircraft carrier is one of the best aircraft carriers currently in service. It's serving as the flagship of the Russian Navy. This 305-meter-long ship with a beam of 72 meters has a full load displacement of over 58,000 tons. With its multi-role capacity, this ship is heavily armed and potentially can serve as an aircraft carrier besides being laced with armaments that make it deadly enough. Its flight deck facility can carry up to 33 fixed-wing aircraft and 12 helicopters. The aircraft carrier can accommodate Su-33s, MiG-29Ks, and Su-25UTG Stevol fighters, Ka-27Ss, Ka-27LD-32s, and the Ka-27 PLO helicopter. Admiral Knetsov can also house 1,960 ship companies, 626 air groups, and 40 flagstaffs aboard. It was built by the Black Sea Shipyard, the sole manufacturer of Soviet aircraft carriers, in Nikolaev with the Ukrainian Soviet Social Republic and launched in 1985, becoming fully operational in the Russian Navy in 1995. The initial name of the ship was Riga, but was eventually given its current name after the Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union, Nikolai Kunetsov. She was originally commissioned in the Soviet Navy and was intended to be the lead ship of the two-ship Admiral Konetsov class. However, its sister ship, Varyag, was still incomplete when the Soviet Union disbanded in 91. The second hull was eventually sold by Ukraine to China and was completed in Dailan and commissioned as the Liaoning, which we talked about. The ship has been out of service and in repair since 2018. Number 11. Shandong, China the second aircraft carrier of China, the Shandong, was launched on April 26, 2017. Now, unlike its predecessor, the Liaoning, the Shandong is China's first domestically built carrier. Both carriers are similar in size and use a stow bar or short takeoff but arrested recovery system to launch and recover aircraft. However, being constructed in recent years, Shandong features much more advanced technology and noticeable equipment, which makes it the lead aircraft carrier for China. The Shandong measures 305 meters in length and has a beam of 75 meters, with a total displacement of about 70,000 tons. It can carry a maximum of about 44 aircraft on its deck, and as I mentioned, the carrier's design is largely based on China's first carrier, Liaoning, which itself was built from the partially complete ship of the Soviet Kunetsov class. It retains that ski jump takeoff, which limits its air wing to helicopters and Shenyang J-15 fighter jets of the People's Liberation Army Navy Air Force. And the ship is powered by conventional oil-fired boilers, driving eight steam turbines derived from the Soviet design examples installed on the Liaoning. During the April 2023 United Sharp Sword military exercises, the Shandong was deployed in the Philippine Sea, where it simulated air and sea strikes on neighboring Taiwan from waters close to Okinawa, according to a report from Japan's Ministry of Defense. Several PLA Navy jet fighters and helicopters took off and landed on the carrier 120 times in 48 hours, with the carrier along with three other warships and support vessel coming to within 230 kilometers of Japan's Miyako Islands at one stage. Taiwan's Defense Ministry also released a map that showed four Shenyang J-15 fighter jets flying to the island's east, with the Chinese military later confirming fighter planes from the Shandong loaded with live ammunition had, quote, carried out multiple waves of simulated strikes on important targets, end quote. While the Shandong and other vessels accompanying it thereafter sailed east into the Pacific Ocean, at one point coming within 600 kilometers of Guam before finally turning westwards and entering the South China Sea via the Bashi Channel at the end of April. Number 10. The INS Vikrant, India The INS Vikrant is an aircraft carrier in service with the Indian Navy. The carrier is the first to be built in India, and it was constructed by the Cochin Shipyards Limited in Kochi, Kerala. The namesake Vikrant is a tribute which means courageous in Sanskrit. The motto of the ship is, I defeat those who fight against me. 
Work on the ship design began in 1999. The keel was laid in 2009, and the carrier was floated out of dry dock in December 2011, and it was launched in August of 2013. Basin trials were completed in December 2020, and sea trials started in 21, with its commissioning ceremony being held on the 2nd of September 2022. It is 262 meters in length, with a top speed of about 28 knots and an endurance of about 7,500 nautical miles. The ship has 2,300 compartments manned by 1,700 seamen. It's got a hospital complex, cabins for female officers, eight kilometers of corridors, and eight generators capable of lighting up a city of two million people. So yeah, this thing is big, and it displaces about 45,000 tons. It features a stow bar configuration, can carry an air group of up to 36 aircraft, including 26 fixed-wing aircraft, and a mix of Durov Mark III and Sikorsky MH-60Rs, plus a Kamov Ka-31 helicopter. The Ka-31 fulfills the airborne early warning role. The MH-60R will provide anti-surface and anti-sub warfare capability, and the Druv will be mainly used for search and rescue operations. Vikrant is powered by four General Electric gas turbines on two shafts, generating over 80 megawatts of power. The gearbox for the carrier was designed and supplied by Electcon Engineering, and the Combat Management System, or CMS, was developed by Tata Advanced Systems, and it is the first CMS developed by a private company for the Indian Navy. Number 9. The INS Vikramaditya, India all right, staying in India, the Indian Navy's largest warship in service, the INS Vikramaditya, finds its place among the biggest aircraft carriers in the world. This 284-meter-long, 61-meter-wide is a modified Kiev-class aircraft carrier that was entered into service in 2013. Previously served the Soviet Navy and the Russian Navy under Baku and Admiral Gorshkov, respectively. India purchased this battleship in January of 2004. It's got a displacement of over 45,000 tons and can carry a maximum of about 36 aircraft, including 26 Mikoyan MiG-29 multi-role fighters and 10 Kamov Ka-31 and Kamov Ka-28 AWS helicopters. Originally built as Baku and commissioned in 1987, the carrier served with the Soviet Navy and later with the Russian Navy as Admiral Gorshkov before being decommissioned in 1996. The carrier was invested by India on January 20, 2004, after years of negotiations at a final arms sales price of about $2.3 billion. The transformed ship completed her sea trials in July of 2013, and the first Stobar aviation trials in September 2013. She was commissioned on November 16, 2013 at a ceremony held in Russia. In June of 2014, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, formally inducted the INS Vikramaditya into the Indian Navy and dedicated her to the nation. The combat systems on board the carrier are controlled by Lesorub e the computer-aided action information system. It gathers data from the ship's sensors and data links and creates comprehensive situational awareness. The CCS Mark II communication complex is installed for external communications, and the Link II tactical data system enables integration into the Indian Navy's network-centric operations. The Resistor E automated air traffic control system has been installed too, which assists with approach, landing, and short-range navigation down to a distance of 30 meters short of the flight deck to the pilots. Along with various other subsystems, it provides navigation and flight data to the shipborne aircraft, operating at long distances from the carrier. Number 8. Cavour, Italy Cavour is an Italian aircraft carrier launched in 2004. She's the flagship of the Italian Navy. Now, it was designed to combine fixed-wing V-stall helicopters and air operations, command and control operations, and the transport of military or civil personnel and heavy vehicles. The 2,800-square-meter hangar space can double as a vehicle hold capable of holding up to 24 main battle tanks or many more lighter vehicles, and is fitted aft with access ramps rated to 70 tons, as well as two elevators rated up to 30 tons for aircraft. Cavour can also operate as a landing helicopter platform, accommodating heavy transport vehicles and about 325 Marines. It's got a displacement of over 27,000 tons, but it could reach more than 30,000 at full military capacity. It does complement the Italian Navy's other aircraft carrier, the Giuseppe Garibaldi. The Italian Navy announced plans to replace its 16 Harriers with 15 Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning IIs, and by May 2020, the modernization of the carrier to support the F-35B was completed, and the carrier was ready for subsequent integration trials. Cavour will now have room for 10 F-35Bs in the hangar, and six more parked on deck. It was laid down by Fincantieri in June of 2001 and was launched from the Riva Tilgroso shipyard in Sestri Levante on July 20, 2004. Sea trials began in December 06, and she was officially commissioned on March 27, 2008. Full operational capability was reached on June 10, 2009. 
She was also part of interoperability training operations in February of 2022 with the American carrier Harry S. Truman and the French carrier Charles de Gaulle in the lead up to the Russian war of aggression against Ukraine. In October of 2023, she is now docked at Cittavita Vecchia near Rome, along with her escort, the frigate Carlo Bergamini. Moving on to number seven, Juan Carlos I, Spain. Juan Carlos I is a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship aircraft carrier in the Spanish Navy. Similar in role to many aircraft carriers, the amphibious landing ship has a ski jump for SVTOL operation and is equipped with the McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II attack aircraft or the new Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II fighter. The vessel is named in honor of Juan Carlos I, the former King of Spain. This new vessel plays an important role in the fleet, as a platform that replaces the Newport-class LSTs, Hernan Cortez and Pizarro, for supporting the mobility of the Marines. The vessel's got a flight deck of about 202 meters with a ski jump ramp, and the flight deck has landing spots for Harrier, F-35 Lightning II, or medium-sized helicopters, and four spots for heavy helicopters, like the CH-47 Chinook or V-22 Osprey. The ship uses diesel-electric propulsion, simultaneously connecting both diesels and the new technology gas turbine power plant. The complement of the ship is approximately 900 personnel, with equipment and support elements for about 1,200 soldiers. The multifunctional garage and hangar space on two levels covers about 6,000 square meters, with capacity for 6,000 tons on each level. A stern well deck measuring 69 by 13 meters can accommodate four LCM-1E landing craft, which can be beach diver, non-swimming ground vehicles like tanks and four ribs, or one landing craft air cushion plus assault amphibious vehicles. Number 6. The Giuseppe Garibaldi, Italy The Giuseppe Garibaldi is an Italian aircraft carrier, the first through-deck aviation ship ever built for the Italian Navy, and the first Italian ship built to operate fixed-wing aircraft. Although she's widely recognized as a carrier first and foremost, she's officially designated as an aircraft carrying cruiser. She's equipped with short takeoff and landing, or SV tall aircraft and helicopters, and was involved in combat air operations off Somalia, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Libya. She's the fourth ship of the Italian Navy to be named after the 19th century Italian General Giuseppe Garibaldi. All four ships, including the missile cruiser, together with an image of Garibaldi, are depicted on the crest. Built by Fincantieri and Malfaconi shipyards of the Gulf of Trieste, she was laid down on March 26, 1981, launched on June 11, 1983, and commissioned on September 30, 1985. The ship is also powered by four Fiat gas turbines under license from GE, offering a sustained power of over 81,000 horsepower. Driving two shafts, the ship's got a maximum speed of 30 knots and can travel for about 7,000 nautical miles at around 20 knots. She's equipped with four Automat Mark II short-range surface-to-surface missile systems installed at the stern of the vessel and two ILS-3 triple tube torpedo launchers, and these defenses are provided by two 8-cell SAM launchers. The ship also has several countermeasures, including Sklar 20-barrel launchers for chaff, decoys, flares, or jammers, and the SLQ-25 Nixie and SLAT anti-torpedo systems. In 2009, she was replaced as the flagship of the Italian Navy by the new and larger carrier Cavour. The ship underwent a modernization in 2003 and a major restructuring in 2013. Number 5. The HTMS Chakri Nurabet, Thailand The Chakri Nurabet, meaning Sovereign of the Chakri Dynasty, the Thai monarchy's ruling family, this is the flagship of the Royal Thai Navy and Thailand's first and only aircraft carrier, although the RTN refers to her as an offshore patrol helicopter carrier. Based on the Spanish Navy's design and constructed by Spanish shipbuilder Bazan, Chakri Nurbet was ordered in 1992, laid down in 94, launched in 96, and commissioned into the RTN in 97. This ship is the smallest functioning aircraft carrier in the world and was designed to operate an air group of V-Stall fighter aircraft and helicopters, and it's fitted with an aircraft ski jump. Initial intentions were to operate a mixed air group of ex-Spanish AV-8S Matador Harriers and Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawks. However, by 1999, it was reported that only one Matador was operational due to parts, training, and fiscal limitations, although three Matadors were spotted on the ship during a show of force after the 2003 Phnom Penh riots in Cambodia. Her entire Harrier jet fleet was removed from service in 2006. And although Chakri Narabet was intended for patrols and force projection in Thai waters, a lack of funding brought on by the 1997 Asian financial crisis meant that the carrier spent most of her life docked at the naval base. 
Chakri Narabet has been deployed on several disaster relief operations, including the aftermath of the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami, and in response to separate flooding incidents in late 2010 and early 2011. Other than disaster relief, the carrier's few other departures from port are a single training day per month, leading to claims by some naval commentators that the ship is merely an oversized royal yacht. Number 4. TCG Andolu, Turkey the TCG Andolu is a Vistal-capable amphibious assault ship, with intended use as a carrier of the Turkish Navy. It's named after the peninsula of Anatolia, which forms the majority of the landmass of Turkey. This construction works began on April 30th of 2016 at a shipyard of Sidnef Shipbuilding in Istanbul, with the keel being laid on February 7th of 2018. The Anadolu was commissioned with a ceremony on April 10, 2023, and the vessel intended to meet the various needs and requirements of the Turkish armed forces, such as sustaining long-endurance, long-distance military combat, or humanitarian relief operations. The Sadif Navantia Consortium won the tender for the amphibious salt ship project of the Turkish Navy, using the same design as that of the Spanish ship Juan Carlos I. All of the ship's weapons systems were produced by Turkish firms Asalon and Havislon, and the ship also features a Turkish combat management system, the Genesis Advent. Aircraft landing is assisted in all weather conditions by the Precision Approach Radar, and in December of 2013, the Turkish program was originally estimated to cost around 500 million US dollars. According to the original plan, however, the Turkish Navy wanted a slightly shorter flight deck without the ski jump ramp in front to be optimized for use with only helicopters but they changed their mind and opted for a fully equipped flight deck with the ski jump ramp in front, after deciding to purchase F-35B Stovall aircraft. According to the official specifications, the Anadolu will be capable of operating up to 10 F-35Bs if Turkey purchases the aircraft in the future, and 12 medium-sized helicopters in the Vistal aircraft carrier configuration. Number 3. The Queen Elizabeth Class, United Kingdom the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers of the UK Royal Navy consist of two vessels. The lead ship of her class, the HMS Queen Elizabeth, was named on July 4, 2014, in honor of Elizabeth I, and was commissioned on December 7, 2017. Her sister ship, the HMS Prince of Wales, was launched on December 21, 2017, and was commissioned on December 10, 2019. They form the central components of the UK Carrier Strike Group. These vessels have a displacement of about 65,000 tons, they're about 284 meters long, and are the largest warships ever constructed for the Royal Navy. The carrier air wing varies depending on the type and location of deployment, but it consists of a maximum of about 24 F-35Bs under normal circumstances, or 36 in extreme cases, and Merlin helicopters in both utility and airborne early warning roles. The 2010 Strategic Defense and Security Review announced the intention to purchase the Lockheed Martin F-35C carrier variant and to build the Prince of Wales in a catapult-assisted takeoff barrier arrested recovery or catobar configuration. However, in 2012, after projected costs of the catobar system rose to around twice the original estimate, the government announced that it would revert the original design, deploying F-35Bs from short takeoff and landing configurated carriers. In May 1997, the newly elected Labour government, led by Tony Blair, launched the Strategic Defense Review, which reevaluated every weapons system, then active or in procurement with the exception of the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Vanguard-class ballistic submarines. The report, published in July 1998, stated that the aircraft carriers offer, quote, the ability to operate offensive aircraft overseas when foreign bases may not be available early in a conflict. All required space and infrastructure, as when there are foreign bases, our available infrastructure is often lacking, and a coercive and deterrent effect when employed to a trouble spot." End quote. Number 2. The Nimitz-class, United States The Nimitz-class is a class of 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in service with the United States Navy. The lead ship of the class is named after the World War II United States Pacific Fleet Commander, Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, who was the last living U.S. Navy officer to hold that rank. With an overall length of 1,092 feet and a full load displacement of over 100,000 long tons, the Nimitz-class ships were the largest warships ever built and in service until the USS Gerald R. Ford entered the fleet in 2017. The carriers use two A4W pressurized water reactors. Now, these drive the propeller shafts and can produce a maximum speed of over 30 knots and a maximum power of around 260,000 shaft horsepower. As a result of this nuclear power, the ships are capable of operating for over 20 years without refueling and are predicted to have a service life of over 50 years. 
They're categorized as nuclear-powered aircraft carriers and are numbered with consecutive hull numbers from CVN-68 to CVN-77. All 10 carriers were constructed by Newport News Shipbuilding Company in Virginia. Well, the USS Nimitz is the lead ship of the class and was commissioned on May 3, 1975, and USS George H.W. Bush, the 10th and last of the class, was commissioned on January 10, 2009. Since the 70s, the Nimitz-class carriers have participated in many conflicts and operations across the world, including Operation Eagle Claw in Iran, the Gulf War, and more recently in Iraq and Afghanistan. The unit cost of each one was equivalent to 10 billion U.S. dollars. Number 1. The USS Gerald R. Ford Class, United States The world's biggest aircraft carrier title belongs to the U.S. Navy's Gerald R. Ford Class. The first carrier in this class, the USS Gerald R. Ford, was commissioned in May 2017, and the four remaining announced vessels of this class are still under construction. Gerald R. Ford, currently in active service, is 337 meters long with a beam of 78 meters. The vessels feature a total load displacement of well over 100,000 tons, and its 78-meter flight deck features an electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear. It can carry over 75 aircraft and accommodate a total of 4,500 personnel. It's fueled by two nuclear reactors and has RIM-162 Evolve Sea Sparrow missiles, airframe missiles, or rams and phalanx close-in weapon systems. The United States Navy intends to eventually acquire 10 of these ships in order to replace the current carriers on a one-for-one -one basis, starting with the lead ship of her class, the Gerald R. Ford, replacing the Enterprise, and later, the Nimitz-class carriers. These new vessels have a hull similar to the Nimitz-class, but they carry technology since developed with the CVN, CVN-21 program, such as the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, as well as other design features intended to improve efficiency and reduce operating costs, including sailing with smaller crews. This class of aircraft carriers is named after the former U.S. President Gerald R. Ford, but it won't be the last president to be sailing the high seas. The second ship of the class, the John F. Kennedy, is scheduled to enter service in 2025. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.